cuisine. So y'all might be wondering, what am I doing here? Why am I not in my kitchen? Well, I'm kind of bored of cooking, so I'm going to be doing something different. So my mom gave me a challenge, and the challenge is that in this bowl, there are um, papers A to Z, and I have to pick five of them. I'm going to go to a grocery store to buy some ingredients, so starting with those letters. So then I'm going to come back home and make a dish out of those ingredients. Now let me pick some letters. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's see what it is. The first one is M, there's H, then there's L, Q, A. I have no absolute idea what I'm going to make or actually buy with these ingredients. Like, come on, why is there with Q? Like, what is there with D? Oh wait, is this a D or an A? I think that's a D. Okay, it's not an A, it's a D, so. Okay, see you in the grocery store. I'll have to figure out what I have to buy. Bye. Hi guys, so we're here at Walmart and I'm going to be searching for the letters. So let's get started. Alright guys, so um, I'm searching for the letters in the fruits and vegetables section, but I don't think there's anything here. Look. always good. I think I should get this. Okay guys, I think there's something might be here. Ooh, heavy whipping cream. I have a letter A. This will be perfect. Okay guys, we're in the dairy section and right now I'm looking at the cream cheese. I'm trying to find something which I love. Light cream cheese. L. L, that's my letter. I think I'll get this. I'm probably gonna make like something like a dessert. Okay, let's move on. Guys, let's go check out the cookie section. Oh wait! I found honey made crackers. That starts with an H, but I already have hun um heavy whipping cream. I mean, I think I could change it. Let's put this back. I'm gonna get the honey <laughs> bean instead. Hey guys, I'm in a coffee aisle and over there are candies. Wait, D. There's dark chocolate. Can chocolate work? I mean it's sweet and desserts are sweet. Maybe I'll just get it. Okay guys, so we're in this aisle, but because I'm making something sweet, and there's like all salty stuff here. I don't think there's anything here. Ooh, there's Quakers with starts with Q. These are like um chewy bars. Alright guys, so I'm looking here and I think I'll get this because anyway it's strawberry blueberry plus there's yogurt at the bottom so that would match with the mixed berry yogurt. So let's get this one. Okay so I found all ingredients with the five letters I chose and let's buy this and go home and create something. See you guys at home. Okay guys, welcome back to my kitchen. We're back from the store. So, I brought all these ingredients, but I still have no idea what to make. I'm just gonna think what I should make. Could 
beets, uh, uh, the cream cheese, and the uh, berry yogurt. And what can we do with um, these two? Hmm, okay. How about I chop these things in small pieces? And then maybe I could like kind of like layer it. Like first comes the um, cream cheese and yogurt and then the um, graham crackers and then these two pieces and then it's gonna kind of be like a pattern. Alright okay, guys, so um, I crushed the, the um, graham cracker right here. Then I chopped the, um, the chewy bars and the chocolate and I put the cream cheese in a bowl and I have my yogurt. So now I'm going to mix the yogurt in with the cream cheese. All right guys, I'm done mixing. Okay guys, um, I just um, tasted to check how, um, you know, cream cheese and yogurt taste together. And it tastes good, but it's not that sweet. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to put one spoon of uh, one spoon of the um, the yogurt cream cheese I made. guys put it in the freezer for a few minutes and let it chill just chill and relax okay I was just kidding now it's time for the taste test hmm. it tastes good I did a good job all right guys so I had a fun day today because I kind of did something different and maybe in the future I'll make some videos like this like challenges and stuff so if y'all like this recipe make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time bye